Hello friends, James Stevenson here doing a six-month check-in on some predictions made by fly for dat longtime Tesla hater, longtime Tesla short seller, uh, longtime experiencer of face being ripped off by shorting Tesla. I'm joined as always by my co-host Loki, uh, who has decided not to eat his breakfast so far today. Maybe he will during this video. You'll just have to wait and see by checking the Loki's bed cam, which I will keep, uh, sorry, right here below me, as I share my screen and walk you through a tweet uh, thread with some question and answer done by fly dat on November 10th, 2022. That's been about six months ago, almost exactly. So uh, is demand even more unlimited-er? Uh, fly dat asked. Uh, with a question here from James Cat at Tesla Fan MTL. If this is true, that would be very bad. Huge red flag. Uh, Fly Ford at saying, look, after two price cuts, you can still get a Model Y SR in one to four weeks. Also in most of Europe, you can still get a Model Y LR slash performance this year. Virtually no other brand can offer you any car before 2024. Not a typo. Interesting. Uh, St. Elno's dumpster fire, Cuervo Borracho, replied, I have no idea how everyone couldn't see this coming. China is a mess. Model Y demand has peaked or is about to. Seems obvious at the end of last year. Uh, St. Elno's dumpster fire would not have predicted that the number one selling vehicle in the world in Q1 2023 would be the Tesla Model Y. I made a video about that recently. Uh, what did Fly Ford at respond with? He said, in fact, it peaked everywhere in Q2 of 2022. In Europe, Q3 order rates were 40% of Q2 at best. Q4 order rates are half of Q3, if not much lower. Backlog hid the demand collapse, but now backlog is gone. Uh, Fly Ford at upholding uh, one of the three holy pillars of Tesla Q. Backlog is gone. Uh, the others, of course, being uh, Demand Cliff and Growth Story is over. Uh, so James Cat replied, prices will fall uh, correctly. I am already forecasting this correctly. IRA will help in the U.S., though. Uh, he was right about that, too. Uh, what did fly for dat say? U.S. is maxed out, and if IRA helps, it's going to stay that way. Uh, maxed out, he means. But China and Europe are over and the U.S. won't offset that, especially that Tesla makes no money on the cars in the U.S. So there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, one of the things I guess we could do a check-in on is to just see, were China and Europe sales over? Well, let's check out one of those markets. Uh, how is Europe doing? I'll get rid of this and bring up EU-EVs, a site run by Alex T., uh, a member of Tesla Q in good standing, uh, but to my knowledge, the data presented on this website has always been accurate. I've never seen reports to the contrary. Uh, what do we have here? Well, it's the yearly market share dynamics for the top eight brands shown in Europe. Tesla, uh, being the number one brand, goes in the bottom here. And I'll just cut to the chase and show you that in 2023, Tesla's market share of the EV market in Europe is 19.7%. That is, uh, to, much to fly for dat's chagrin, much higher than it was in any of the previous three years when it was at 15%, 14%, and 13%. So Tesla's market share has gone 13, 14, 15, 20. Uh, what has everybody else's market share done? Well, as new brands have entered the market, the top eight have shrunk uh, as a percentage of the total market. And you can see that with brands like Nissan falling from more than 2 to less than 2%. Kia falling from 4.7 to 3.9. Uh, Audi did grow a bit here, uh, between 5 and 6% both years. Uh, BMW here falling from more than 6% to less than 6%. Hyundai here falling from more than 5 to less than 5%. Renault uh, falling from more than 4% to 3% flat. 
uh, and then VW here with a little bit of a gain to a number that you might think I have somehow doctored to make a mean out of being 11.69%. Uh, but that is actually where the number came out. So good for you, uh, VW, with 11.69% of the market in second place to Tesla with 19.7% of the market. And if you're interested in seeing how well Tesla sales are doing in China, look up at uh, P-I-L-O-L-Y on Twitter. That's Roland Percher's account. He's been tweeting out uh, China sales updates along with lots of other good charts uh, showing Tesla's huge growth year over year. And with that, I will end today's video after checking back in with Loki in the Loki's bed cam, where he is continuing to sleep on the job, uh, that little dog. And I'll say, if you've enjoyed today's video, click the like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, why not go ahead and subscribe to my channel over here and click the notification bell to be alerted whenever I post fresh content. Thank you to everyone who supports me, whether that's through Patreon or Twitter. For uh, only 69 cents per week, you can be a Twitter subscriber and see exclusive tweets from me and uh, see these videos the day I upload them, uh, which you can also do on Patreon. Uh, a special thank you to my two executive producers, Kathy Kitchler and Rebellionaire.com, and I'll see you in the next one.